It's Summer Reading Washita Parish. Each summer, the Washita Parish Public Library challenges you to read as much as you possibly can during the summer, and in return, we'll give you some prizes just for reading. This year, our theme is Tales and Tales, and we're celebrating all kinds of animal stories, and our librarians have specifically picked out six titles, our top six picks, that we think that you'll enjoy most this summer. These books count towards the Summer Reading Challenge, but all books count towards the Summer Reading Challenge. That includes the book that books that you already own. It also includes audio books, uh, your Bible, anything you want to read, it counts towards the Summer Reading Challenge. But we want to specifically highlight these six books, our top six picks for summer. First up is Carrying Albert Home by Homer Hickam. Carrying Albert Home is a somewhat true story, but it's highly fictionalized and it's really a tall tale. It's an odyssey of sorts. If you like Oh Brother Where Art Thou, if you like Big Fish, you're gonna love Carrying Albert Home. So Carrying Albert Home is about Homer Hickam, the author, his parents, Homer Hickam Sr. and Elsie. Elsie and Homer are living in the Great Depression, and Homer is a coal miner in West Virginia. He's got a pretty steady job, all things considered, uh, but then their marriage starts to get a little choppy because of Elsie's beloved pet, Albert, who is an alligator. Now, Albert was a wedding gift to Elsie from an old flame down in Florida. Um, and she babies Albert, and Albert's just the pride and joy of her life. And then one day, Albert and Homer get into it. Albert basically bites off Homer's pants across the yard. And Homer looks at Elsie and says, it's me or that alligator. Elsie has to think about it because she loves that alligator. And she says, okay, I'll stay married to you under one condition. We've got to bring Albert home. We've got to carry Albert home to Florida. So they travel all the way from West Virginia down to Florida during the 1930s. It's a hilarious journey. Um, they meet some fabulous characters along the way. And I really think you'll like it. And if it sounds like something that you like, you should join our online book club where you can discuss Carrying Albert Home. It's our book selection for the summer. Um, and you can join on our Facebook page. Next up, The Art of Racing in the Rain by Garth Stein. This book was recently made into a blockbuster hit movie and for good reason because it is the most tender, loving story about Enzo, a dog, and his owner, Denny. Denny is a race car driver and Enzo loves Denny and loves race cars as well. And the book is told from the point of view of Enzo, but Enzo isn't your average dog. He's very philosophical, very intelligent. He really wishes that he had opposable thumbs like us. Um, and he is super duper loyal to Denny, like most other dogs. Denny goes through some trials of his own. Uh, his wife is dying. He's losing custody of his daughter. And then he's accused of a crime that he did not commit. Um, and all of this story is told from the point of view of Enzo, who can see no wrong in Denny and only wants Denny to have the best life ever. If you like Marley and Me, if you like This Is Us, basically if you love a good cry, you should read The Art of Racing in the Rain. Another top six pick book is The Feather Thief by Kirk Wallace Johnson. The Feather Thief is a nonfiction book, but it's unlike any nonfiction book I've ever read. It's part true crime, part natural history, part insightful memoir, but overall it's amazing, a five star read. So here's what it's about. Back in June 2009, a 20-year-old American flautist who's studying at the Royal Academy of Music breaks into the British Museum of Natural History. And what does he steal? Hundreds of bird skins and bird feathers. Why in the world would he do this? Well, there's a black market out there in the mysterious fly tying community. And Edwin Rist has figured out that if he can sell these rare, rare feathers online, he can make bank. It's one of the craziest heist stories I've ever heard of, and you'll really enjoy it. If you like true crime podcasts, try downloading the audiobook version. It's riveting, and you won't want to stop listening to it. Another top six pick book that's also nonfiction is Sergeant Reckless by Robin Hutton. Sergeant Reckless is a gripping biography about a Marine during the Korean War, but this Marine happens to have four hooves instead of two feet. 
This horse carried wounded soldiers, ammunition, back and forth over the hills, through all of these bombs going off. She was a hero and she even earned two purple hearts. If you love David McCullough, or if you want to learn more about the Forgotten War, the Korean War, do yourself a favor and read about one of the greatest Marines that ever lived, Sergeant Reckless. This one's for all my feline friends, The Traveling Cat Chronicles by Hiro Arikawa. The Traveling Cat Chronicles is told from the point of view of a little Japanese cat named Nana. Nana lives with Satoru. Nana and Satoru are on a road trip all across Japan and along the way they hang out with some of Satoru's old friends. And Nana gets to meet some new friends as well, though Nana is pretty... how do I put this? Nana's a cat. Nana's very snarky, Nana's very selfish, uh, and Nana's also very funny. Um, but the whole point of the book is why are they on this road trip? But you'll have to read it to find out. It's super short, super sweet, and you will love it. Our last top six pick is All Creatures Great and Small by James Harriet. The beloved memoirs have been made into all kinds of TV shows, most recently on PBS as a masterpiece theater. And the book follows James Harriet as he is an English countryside veterinarian. James meets all kinds of interesting patients, of course dogs and cats, but also horses and cows, and more importantly he meets the patient's owners as well. It's sweet, it's warm, it's cozy, it'll make you feel good. It's the perfect kind of book to read during the summer. All six of these books are available to check out at the Washita Parish Public Library with your library card. They're also available for download as an ebook or e audiobook on either the Cloud Library app or the Hoopla app. Don't forget to log your pages in the summer reading portal. You can get started at oplib.org slash summer reading. We've got some pretty cool prizes for you to win. So at 500 pages, you can win this really great notebook. It's got a pen. My favorite part is it also has sticky notes and a ruler on it. But when you reach a thousand pages, you can get a collectible tote. So the tote this year says sit, stay, read. I just love it. It's a canvas tote. It's really wide on the bottom to hold all of your books. Now when you reach the 1500 page milestone, you'll be entered to win the grand prize, a tablet provided by the Friends of the Washita Public Library. Summer reading is for the entire family, so if you've got little ones at home, be sure to sign them up for the summer reading challenge as well. Their rules are a little different, but the grand prize is a bicycle provided by the Kiwanis of Greater Washita. Happy summer reading everyone!